Here is a video for all of you professionals and do-it-yourselfers who are interested in precision and accuracy. And it's actually something that I just recently found out about while working with some of these programs. And it's the fact that the number 17, when you're using it to calculate the length of a hip or valley, isn't always going to provide you with the most accurate measurement. Now, theoretically, you're going to be coming from the center of the ridge and in line with the center of the hip which would be around here somewhere at the top and at the bottom you're going to be lining up with the corner and for this hip here we would need to raise it up to the center here however this particular rafter is not right on the money and as a matter of fact, according to our program, is off at least three-eighths of an inch. And this might not seem like that big of a deal, but it will be the longer we go. For example, on a five-foot rafter like this, you're going to be off about three-sixteenths of an inch. However, if we double the length of the building, making it 40 feet, we could be off three-quarters of an inch. And you can see right here where the three-eighths of an inch is creating a problem for this point here. Here. And this is our theoretical bottom point going up to our theoretical top point. And I hate to use the word theoretical, something that's been drilled into my head, but this is actual. This is actually the measurement. And you can see here, if we use this method of framing, we're going to have a problem with our sheathing here, providing us with a good idea that we're going to want the hips to come up and meet in the center and not the common rafters, unless we're going to shape the top two sides of the rafters. And you can see here where I've drawn the plane of the roof, four different sides of the roof, so that I can lower it down and provide you with another example of what the theoretical measurements are going to look like or actual what can I say I can't get that out of my head so here we have 14 foot 8 and 15 16 and this is going to be the measurement again from the bottom point that we have here to the top of the roof so again this is the model that we would use to figure out the length of the hip and again this is just one more example I'm providing you with to get to the grand finale. So next up on the list, let's take a bird's eye view or an upper view of the roof framing and the hips here so that I can explain where the number 17 is going to be coming from and then why you shouldn't be using it. Now if I come in a foot, just draw a one foot square that will represent one unit of measurement that we can multiply by 10. And remember we're coming in 10 feet in our 20 by 20 foot garage and this means that half of the distance is going to be 10 foot and then at any one of these increments here you will simply be adding another foot two foot three foot four foot five foot six foot and let's not forget that this is not the only way to calculate a hip roof rafter by using the one foot increment here or the 17 inches and here's where the number 17 comes from if we have a one foot horizontal or flat unit of measurement and we're trying to figure out the common roof rafter we're going to use this here we're going to come in a foot up five inches for a 5 and 12 roof pitch and then the measurement of our rafters will be one foot one inch for every one foot increment and then when we come down to our hip which is going to be one foot five or the same measurement that we're going to have here and then we're going to come up Five inches we're going to have one foot five and three quarters and hopefully some of you are still hanging in there because this is where I'm getting the number 17 from and I'm here to tell you that the number 17 is actually 16.97 and I know that doesn't sound like much three hundredths of an inch isn't going to be that big of a deal but once we multiply it times 10 20 30 40 or even 50 feet then you can start to see where we could be running into trouble so let's go ahead and figure out this number here and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared and this works for any 90 degree angle triangle so if we have one foot that's going to be 12 inches we're going 
going to square it 144 and then we're going to add 144 again which would be a squared plus b squared and then we're simply going to get the square root of that number 16.970 and if we go ahead and multiply this times 10 feet you can see where we're going to get 169.7 and that's basically going to provide us with just a little over a quarter of an inch of a gap in our roof framing system now i know a quarter of an inch doesn't sound like that much but it was enough to create a problem with the heel cut where I needed to reduce the length of it about an eighth of an inch and something like this might not be that noticeable with a project like this however it was a much bigger problem when I had to cut some large glue lamb beam roof hips that were about 40 feet long for a building that I worked on so again is this going to be that big of a deal on smaller projects no but why even take the chance? Simply quit using the number 17 for all of your hip roof rafter framing projects and start using the number 16.97. Now for those of you who are wondering what the heel cut was, that would be the distance between here and here if we were to go vertically straight up because as you move the seat cut out farther, it's going to raise the hip rafter. So in order to compensate for that, you're going to to need to remove some of the lumber from the bottom and of course another problem that you might not have to deal with if you use the number 16.97 for your next roof framing project and of course that brings us to the end of the video and my request from you is to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video or if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the video comment area for everybody to see